it's a Purcell Prusik, so we've got on one end, we've got a small loop, and on the other end, we've got a Prusik. It's got a three coil and a two coil, and it's got a double strand. So when we're pulling in this direction, the three coil is always at the top near the knot. So usually pulled in this direction, like this. Okay, so that's our goal, that's what we're going to build, a Purcell Prusik. can be used for lots of different things. In this case, it's a 6mm cord used for an edge kit. Other really useful things is an adjustable stretcher rig as well. Right, so we're going to be focusing on the edge kit today, and that's what we're going to build. So for an edge kit, what you need is... Uh, length of cord approximately 2.8 meters long or 280 centimeters. First thing we do is we, we create a bite, right? And the bite is approximately 40 centimeters long. So there's 40, just make that slightly longer, around 40 centimeters long. Then what we're going to do is tie a figure of eight on the bite right down here at this tail end. Okay, so figure of eight on the bite. So the easiest way to do that is wrap it around your fingers, crossing it, and then back through that hole. Make sure it's nicely dressed. Then we're going to make this tail really nice and short. We're not worried about short tails because later on in the video you'll see that we're going to tension it down. So this should approximately be 18 centimeters. Just pull that out a little bit more. So around 18 centimeters is what we're aiming. Because once we tension it, it is going to get slightly longer, which is fine. Then we've got this small loop. Now we want to create a large loop. Alright, so I'll grab the other end and loosen this off. And then I'm going to re thread this side. So I want to try and re thread it so it's nicely dressed straight from right from the beginning. So I'll go through and around. back up through the hole around and I'll poke the end through here right so all I want is just a very small amount of poking through and then I thread any excess back and put it through the other side i just go around and check and making sure it's all nicely dressed. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Nicely dressed. So essentially what I have is a triple figure of eight. The tail coming out either side. Okay, that's what I'm aiming for with my small loop at 18 centimeters. And my long loop here is depending on what I'm using it for. Next thing I'm doing is I'm going to put this on, put the long loop on the back of my hand, and then do three wraps. So one, two, three around my thumb. So outside to inside, on this side as well, outside to inside, two on this side, one, two. And you notice down at this end I've created lots of twists so if I take the small loop through the big loop once twice I'll get those twists so I come back to where I've created this put my thumb and finger together put this bridge, this is the bridge of the Prusik right over the top and then I put those the two 
on the three. So I get my five call prusik. So notice that's that's what I've got right now, a five call prusik. So I make this slightly larger. And then poking from the two side to the three, or it's easier to think about poking in from my thumb in towards my wrist. I poke everything through, including the figure of eight knot. Notice where I'm grabbing with this hand. See that, that double strand? I'm grabbing that double strand, and as I'm pulling it down, I'm just giving it a little tweak, a little tweak, so everything ends up nice and even when it gets to the end. Alright, so all this does, it's a real nice easy way to get your prusik nicely dressed. So you notice right here, I've formed that prusik. Two on the bottom, three on the top, which I talked about before. Alright, I'll move this back. And there, I've created my Purcell Prusik. Two legs that are nice and even, no twists. Three on top, closest to the knot. Two on the bottom, about an 18 centimetre. Slightly less than a hand span. That's what I've got. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this outside and we're going to do some tensioning.